fun is what Model Line is, just pure D fun. That's why everybody comes down to Model Line is to have fun. You know, you, you walk around this beautiful resort and there's a lot of people that get up in the morning and go play golf, we don't, we kill ducks. We go and hunt ducks out in the most incredible environment you've ever been to. We're hunting these little freshwater ponds loaded with green wings, blue wings, cinnamon tail and shovers, a few pintails, a few other ducks. But it's the kind of hunt that you can bring your spouse and have a great time. We, we call this the honeymoon duck hunt. We, we kind of started that as a cheeky slogan, but the truth of the matter is, we've had 10 or 11 people actually come down here and do their honeymoon. In fact, we've got a couple with us this week that honeymooned down here last year, and the wife suggested to him that they come back. And he, of course, that's an easy sell for him to come back down here and duck hunt. You want to talk about an easy duck hunt to get the wife on board with? Start talking to her about coming down to Beach, Mexico in February, hanging out by the pool, getting a massage, having all kinds of fun, and you go duck hunting in the morning. But besides just a great duck hunt, there is a lot to do in model line. We hunters get up in the morning, we drive out, we, we shoot an abundance of ducks very quickly. We get back and we spend the whole afternoon doing Mexico tourist things. What is your idea of non-hunting fun? Do you want to go get a massage? Do you want to hang out by the swimming pool? Do you want to sing karaoke? Do you want to go hit a round of golf? Do you want to go play tennis? Do you want to go parasailing or boat riding or take a wine tour? Do you want to go tour the tequila factories? It, it, it's all right here in beautiful Mazatlan, Mexico. Talk about the duck hunting. You know, a lot of, a lot of guys want to come to Mexico to scratch birds off their North American list blue wings, green wings, cinnamon teal galore, and shovelers, plus practically every other species that'll fly down the Central Pacific Flyway. GetDucks.com, we, we attract real duck hunters. Come on guys, hunting back home, that's real duck hunting enough. I mean, you know, after spending a lot of days in the blind uh, till midday to scratch out three or four, hunting hard, it's a vacation to come down here show up at the duck blind at 7.30 or 8 o'clock in the morning and knock out a very generous Mexico duck limit of beautiful birds within an hour and a half. And then go back and hang out with the wife. That's, that's just that's fun. It's what vacation is supposed to be. We stay at a beautiful five-star resort here in downtown Mazatlan, in the Golden Zone, they call it. A thriving tourist industry. This whole town, the whole industry caters to gringos that come down here during the winter to vacation. They understand service. They understand having fun. They understand taking care of you. We will drive upwards of an hour to get out into farm country. Uh, you know, compared to what we do at home and a lot of places around the world, Mazatlan is a very easy hunt. A lot of our clients are very surprised when I tell them, leave the waders at home, leave the rubber boots at home, bring a pair of Crocs or a pair of tennis shoes like you cut grass in, and that's all, that's all required. If you need some rubber boots to get out some of these duck coals, they've got them. Just show up. The guns are provided, the boots are provided. This is your vacation. Come have fun down here in Mexico. You know, it's a, fun, it's a fun duck hunt. We throw out decoys. Uh, the birds are passing over the decoy to pass around. In some regards, it is a pass shooting event. But you've got to understand, this, this is big, the world's bigger than your backyard. Here in Mexico, these birds are eating and making their livings out in brackish water. They're coming in to drink fresh water. I love hunting with clients down here, especially the first timers, they just can't get their mind wrapped around the fact that six to eight of us went into this freshwater body a mile long and shot a bunch of ducks 
And as we're sitting back on the shore, we're just watching as many ducks still flying as many of us saw in North America, they're back in the US this year. Cinnamon teal are the number one most requested species that I'm asked about. There's five subspecies worldwide, but one of the best, most practical places to shoot a cinnamon teal to get your hands on big, beautiful, prime red cinnamon teals is right here in Mexico. They make their living out in brackish water, just their diet demands that. They like mucky bottoms and invertebrates, but they've got to drink water. When the temperatures are getting to 80 degrees, they've got to drink water. And the habitats we're hunting down here are conducive to shooting cinnamon teal. We hunters' recreational interest in the species of cinnamon teal give it commodity value. The staff down here values that bird because we do, because we have such an intense interest in it. And in that way, they protect it. They cherish it, they value it themselves because they know what it means to Americans. Off the resort, you know, if clients want to come to Mazatlan and do an inclusive resort package, we've got anything from seafood to steak, elegant to informal. One of my favorite restaurants are some of these little hole in the wall taco restaurants, you know, like El Bogote's. The historic district of downtown Mazatlan reminds me of New Orleans, reminds me of, of, of the old Jackson Square and Bourbon Street, built during colon Spanish colonial rule. The houses and buildings date to the late 16 and early 1700s. The distinction between downtown Mazatlan and New Orleans is that the plaza in Mazatlan is just so clean and so nice and so family oriented as compared to parts of New Orleans. Y'all are gonna have as good a time as you would on any other family vacation. Sometimes this time of year, it could be 10 degrees or colder, a big snowstorm, a blizzard in the Northern United States, but we're down here basking in 70 and 80 degree weather, shooting ducks and having a great time.